Hi friends, morning. I am Dr. Ashutosh Gupta and uh, I am a consultant in fetal medicine. So probably the premise is this that we are trying to invert the pyramid. So we are trying to uh, pick up the congenital abnormalities uh, as early as it is possible. Pehla to ye. Dusra ye just to differentiate and identify uh, the, what is the condition and what is the most likely differential diagnosis. Okay. So if the diagnosis is being made on an ultrasound, whether we whether whether we would wish to do some invasive testing or some blood test of the mother so as to identify or to confirm the diagnosis, right? Okay. So ये एक common entity है which we call as cystic hygroma. तो आज इसके बारे में हम बात कर लेते हैं. So जैसा कि आप देख सकते हैं ये dorsal edema है. So there is some edema across on the knees. Then we do have some edema onto the elbow. Then we do have some edema onto the dorsum of the hand, right? And then uh, this is behind the head of the baby. So this is a septated sort of an uh, uh, fluid collection behind the back, and it is all throughout the subcutaneous tissue, all throughout the body. What we so um, so bilateral uh, dorsal edema onto the skin. All over the body, so suspected of a cystic hygroma, right? And uh, this is what we are making a diagnosis. There's something around 10 weeks and five days, right? And uh, this is so. This is a radiological diagnosis of a cystic hygroma. So the second uh, second most common differential diagnosis of a cystic hygroma is increased nuchal translucency. So increased nuchal translucency, we would wish to investigate these babies. And um, uh, so the genetic abnormality that we can identify, uh, or a cardiac abnormality that we can see in an increased nuchal translucency cases, in only one third of the cases, and they do have a favorable prognosis. While on the other hand, with the cystic hygroma, we know that 99 percent it is usually chromosomal abnormalities and monosomy X or Turner's, and uh, they usually don't have that favorable prognosis. So probably we 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 don't push or we refrain from doing those invasive uh, diagnostic procedures. And um, uh, because we know that 99% it is usually because of the monosomy, and secondly, the risk of recurrence is negligible, one by one thousand, right? So, so the whole premise is of inverting the pyramid, making a diagnosis as early as possible, and uh, um, uh, differentiating between a cystic hygroma and increased nuchal translucency, and counselling them that this is bad news and the good news. Bad news is this that whatever the condition it is like this, and the good news is this that the risk of recurrence is negligible, right? Thank you very much for your patient listening.